What's up, you little weirdos? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and of course, I'm hitting you with that poverty style video today. Hope you guys are having a fantastic morning. Of course, I will not be able to do coffee and crypto today because I'm getting surgery, I'm getting my ACL repaired and my meniscus repaired. But I want to make a quick update video for you guys uh, because the content obviously is not going to be here today. Maybe later tonight, depending on how I feel, but I think I'm overestimating the fact, uh, I, excuse me, I think I'm overestimating um, my ability to recover. Uh, I'm probably going to be out for the count tonight, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm definitely going to try to stream tonight, but I just wanted to put some updates out there. Now, Doja Swap was released. A lot of criticism because a lot of people are saying it's just a copy and paste code of um, Uniswap, and um, you guys have to understand that that they're going to be cross. They're going to have some cross chain functionality, right? You're going to be able to swap BNB tokens. Uh, you're going to be able to swap, um, of course, um, Ethereum tokens and then Polygon tokens. And you have to understand that, you know, the significance of them having their own launch pad is, is important, right? And the listing fee being so cheap. Um, guys, keep in mind that Satamask, you know, is, <laughs> look, it's an app. I understand it's an app and you can do different things in the app. But at the end of the day, you can only swap five different tokens on Satamask. So, you know, criticizing uh, Doja Swap and then, you know, saying Sat Satamask is way better. It's like, well, at least on Doja Swap right now, um, you can swap more than five tokens. And they're going to add liquidity and, and different pairings and those sorts of things. So, I mean, come on now. Just look at they have a working product. Um, it's a web, you know, based browser app. It's not an app like an actual like phone app like say the mask. So it's not as advanced, right? I understand that, um, but they're different things, right? So let's not criticize um, Doja Swap when say the mask is hardly working right now. Um, I did hear that Russ may have gotten COVID nineteen. I don't know if that's uh, 100% factual, but I was looking at some of the threads on the Dubai Expo because the Dubai Expo is going on right now. Um, and some reputable Saitama people in the community were saying that, yes, he probably tested positive, And that's why we're not seeing him at any of the booths. So if that happened, of course, you know how I feel about some of the Saitama team. I mean, I hope he has a speedy recovery because I don't want anyone, um, you know, COVID's bad, right? It affects people differently. Like I know people that um, got it were perfectly fine. I know people that were in great health, perfectly good health, and like really felt terrible and the worst they've ever felt in their lives because of that. So if that is true, I'm wishing Russ a speedy recovery because I'm a degenerate. Um, I think that there's a lot of things wrong with this token, but I never wish that kind of stuff on people. Um, so speedy recovery. Um, and it's cool to see all the teams out there in Dubai kind of mingling around. I saw what Shirio Inu out there uh of course, uh, Shinja, I think Tarp was doing like a little app for their um, for their uh, token contract thing. And of course, Saitama teams out there. Um, no major price movement from any of the news we got out there. I'm not sure if any news is really coming, um, but we'll see if there's any partnerships going to be made out there. Because that's the biggest thing about this Dubai Expo is the partnerships that potentially um, they can make. And I'm going to pull up the market right now, see if there's anything going uh, too crazy. But we'll see if there's any big partnerships being made. Now, I think that yesterday we had a, uh, a kind of a fake out, right? Like Bitcoin rug pulled us. Uh, it looked like the market was pumping. I don't know why the market was pumping. Maybe because of the news about the um, interest rates, like not really uh, being uh, hiked that much. So that's actually pretty good. But Terrarium looking pretty good at the 74 range. Wow, Saitama and 13. That's been kind of buzz. It's kind of kind of hopping around there um, a lot recently. Shintam was really pumping. Shibnobi is pumping. Shib Doge is pumping. Shiba Inu is not really pumping, but a um, little, little bit of, when I, when I mean pumping, a little bit of a, a percent increase. Now, the ones that are really pumping uh, are Terra, Shinja, and Shintama all over up uh, more than 10% on the day, which we could say that's pumping, right? I mean, plus or minus 5% in crypto isn't really pumping. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's all the update I have for you guys. I don't really see much going on except Twitter. Twitter's really a dumpster fire. Um, and guys, come on, it's all fun and games. Look at, I know I troll a lot of people. Uh, oh my god, I just saw a pic look at this picture. Oh my god, oh my god, I just saw a picture of Del Crypto. Look at that. <laughs> That's not what I want to see bright and early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, Del Crypto out there. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. But you know, it's all fun and games. I know I talk a lot of crap on Twitter, guys, but it's it's just fun. It's just fun. And I think I think a lot of people that don't take themselves too seriously um no it's just fun look at i think there's real flaws in the site with the saitama team and the saitama token but what i have noticed is that they i mean it's only been a week and a half right but they're being a little more quiet when it comes to some of these um announcements or just having uh, their presence on uh, twitter i mean maybe there's nothing to talk about but um i like the fact that they're not over hyping things because i think everyone's tired of the hype and we just want to get down to business and you can see that 
in the content that's being made. Look, I made a joke about classic crypto yesterday, and I said that um, what a shame, or it's something like it's awkward um, that my views on my videos are more than yours when I'm criticizing Saitama, right? You can tell that a lot of the popular YouTube channels that cover Saitama in like a really crazy positive light, like I can do no wrong light, those YouTube channels are they're, the people are not really view, watching them, right? They rather they rather listen to critical uh, commentary because I mean at least it's real and they want to see results now. We're tired of hype, so we'll see what they come out with. Like I said, they have a huge upside, right? Saitama has a huge upside. Um, they can have a niche. Are they going to be revolutionary? Absolutely not, not in my opinion. But they definitely have a huge upside um, to create a launch pad just like Dojo Swap and get uh, tokens uh, and make it available, make it so that you can get tokens that are just launching on their um on their um their app or swap or whatever like that so uh, you can get some exclusives so you can be the first one to pump and dump them right anyway so let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you so much thank you so much for watching jesus can't even finish my sentence it is three o'clock in the morning so thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys i'll keep you updated on the surgery should be okay i'm pretty sure i'll be high on all kinds of drugs uh <laughs> which will probably be chill right right you know what i mean um also real quick shout out I got a sweet ass NFT from what are they? A Banana Task Force Ape. Super, super sick NFT. Check that out. It's probably my profile picture right now. I'm going to change it there. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.